This is Peanut. She is an adult female ferret, um, and she has been diagnosed with adrenal disease. If you have ferrets, you're probably very common, uh, very familiar with this because it's a very common disease that they get. Adrenal disease is actually a tumor of the adrenal gland that overproduces sex hormones. Um, the most common sign we see in ferrets is that they lose hair along their flanks and on their tail, and she's actually being treated for it currently, so her hair coat is nice and thick. Um, but over the long term, it can also suppress the bone marrow, so they can become severely anemic, have a very low red blood cell count. And in males, in male ferrets, it can, all these hormones can cause the prostate to enlarge so big that it can actually prevent them from urinating, which is a life-threatening problem. So we definitely like to treat them for it. Treatment, uh, medical treatment is typically very easy. We used to give an injection once a month of a medication called Lupron that shuts down all the hormone production from the tumors. But more recently, um, we've gotten a longer lasting implant of the same, pretty much the same medication that lasts for six months to a year. So instead of coming in every month for injections, they come in you know, every six months or every year. Um, and it's just like a microchip in a dog. So in a little bit, um, we're actually going to put her in, under a very brief period of anesthesia to place this implant. Um, and we'll do that in just so a So here we are with Peanut the ferret again, who's getting her Desirelin implant for adrenal disease. You can see I made a tiny, we've, we've shaved this area, we've scrubbed it so it's nice and sterile. We've made a tiny little incision where the implant is going to go. And the implant is sitting right in there. It's like a little rice grain. It's going right under her skin. Just like that. And this is why they're anesthetized, because it's a pretty big needle. Push the implant in. I can feel the implant sitting in there. And we're just going to put one little suture to close that incision and be done. And here she is, all recovered from anesthesia. She's still a little bit sleepy, but you can see this nice, clean little spot. She's got one little suture in there that we'll take out in a week. Uh, but she's pretty much all done.